Let's do this.
Finally, I'm here. I knew I was in for a long trip. It was farther than I expected. You must have come a long ways. Do you know where to find the local branch? You'll... I'm supposed to take you there myself, but something came up. Would you mind finding your own way? I've read the file. I should be fine. I'm really sorry, if you'll excuse me. At a new post already, huh? Well, at least I should be glad I made it here the first day of my assignment. I haven't even seen my lodgings yet, but I suppose I should get to the branch ASAP. My name is Logix Fixario. People usually call me Logi, and I think I've grown to like that name. I had a job as an alchemist in a faraway city, but due to circumstances, I had to leave. Now I'm here in Colsate because I was told they're in need of alchemists. I decided to come here on my own. I sure hope I can get along in this foreign town. If worse comes to worst, I suppose things will work themselves out. I need to get a handle on the work here. Thank you for coming such a long way. I'm the chief of the Frontier Special Investigation Bureau here in Colsate. The name's Logix Fixario. I look forward to working with you. Hmm. I've been briefed on your history. Looks like you've been through a lot for such a young age. It's of little concern to me. Well, I'm sure you already know. But we're on the edge of uninhabited land. It's quite far from where you're from. On top of that, we're short-staffed and short-supplied. The accommodations may not exactly be up to par either. Of course, I'll do what I can to help with that. But I doubt it'll ever come close to where you used to live. Please, don't worry. Thank you very much for your consideration. Good answer. Now, if there's anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. Starting today, you work for the town government of Colsate. I hope you dedicate your efforts to improving it. Much appreciated. I will be in your care. Well, now that I've said my piece, you're officially on board. I'll have you sent over to your R&D division. There's someone waiting for you in the hallway. It should be easy to find in any case. Understood. If you'll excuse me. Hmm. Well, hopefully this will solve our staffing problems at R&D. I'll leave the rest to Marion. Still, two alchemists.
This must be R&D. I know it'll be where I'll be working, as of today. Still, I don't have any idea what I'll be doing. I hope I can live up to their expectations. No, I can't let myself get caught up in those thoughts. I have to do whatever I can here. The most important thing is to make a lasting first impression. All right. Excuse me, is this the R&D division? Oh, there you are. We were waiting for you. I'm the research lead around here, Marion Quinn. It's a pleasure to meet you. He's the other new member joining the R&D team. Now, why don't you introduce yourself, Eska? Huh? Um, oh, I'm Eska Malier. My name is Logix Fixario. I'm still not entirely sure how you do things here, so I hope you'll show me around. Um, I look forward to working with you, Mr. Logix. As do I. <laughs> oh, you kids. That was a stiff introduction. Relax a little. You'll be working together a lot. Y yes I suppose you're right. I'll do my best. S sorry By the way, ma'am, where is the rest of the team? There's technically one more member, but because of a mission, I'm afraid we're all we have today. Is that normal? This seems rather, uh, small for a team. It is quite small. In fact, we shouldn't even be operating considering how short-handed we are. Now that you mention it, when I helped you out before, you didn't have many members either. Why is that? Truth is, R&D's always been understaffed and unable to operate, and that led to poor marks from above. When I was put in charge, the entire department was all but disbanded. So then, transferring you here really didn't solve any problems, did it? Absolutely not. That father of mine. I'll give you a promotion, my foot. He stuck me in middle management, so I have to do paperwork all day, and there's no such thing as overtime. Sounds like you've been through quite a bit. But all that ends today. Now I have two brilliant underlings. And both of you are alchemists. Now nobody can tell me my R&D department's just a bunch of dropouts. You mean, you're an alchemist too, Logics? What a coincidence! There's so much about alchemy that I never learned. It would be amazing if you could teach me. I... 
see. Well, I'll do my best, but I'm not sure that I know enough to teach others either. Still, it's uncommon to hire on two alchemists at the same time. I know, right? That's what I asked for on the application, but I never expected my request to come through. I... I see. Uh, so that's what happened. At any rate, I'm gonna put the both of you right to work. You're gonna help me raise our ratings and make people realize that we're the best our division has to offer. I'll do my best. Understood. Hmm, so I have to work with her? She looks really honest and diligent. Hopefully things will go smoothly. Perfect timing. You remember Aska, right, Linka? Let me introduce you to Laji. He's one of the alchemists joining us today. I've heard about you. This is Linka. I suppose she would be your senior here. Oh, she's the one you said was out on a mission? Yes, she has a lot of assignments to keep the monsters at bay. In fact, your next deployment's been decided. She might be a little rough around the edges, but she knows how to swing a sword. Feel free to ask her for help. It's good to meet you, Eska, Lodgy. Let's do our best, yeah? Uh, um, it's nice to meet you as well. Linka. All right. Well, time for your first job. Oh, but before that, Laji, you don't really know much about Colsate, right? Only what was in the file. I tried to find out as much as I could. Well, Eska grew up here, so she knows all about the town. If you're ever confused or lost, go and ask her. I'll do my best. So for your first job, we've got a request to fix the windmill down at the apple orchard. The windmill? Now that you mention it, I heard there were some problems with it. I've already sent someone for maintenance to figure out what's wrong. But I'd like the two of you to find out what's going on down there. Show Lodgy around town while you're at it. Show him around? Yes, I understand. I'll be fine. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your consideration. Don't mention it. You two'd better get to know each other, because you're going to be doing a lot of work together. If you ever have any questions, come find me or Linka. Huh? What do you mean, huh? It's our job as seniors to help teach the newcomers. Uh, sorry, but with all the missions outside, I really don't know the town that well myself. My goodness. Well, you make sure you're able to answer any questions these two might have. You got it? A 
Understood. <laughs> well then, we'll be counting on you, Inka. I will do my best. I'm surrounded by women. This job may be a lot harder than I had first thought. Well then, shall we be going? Sure, but what should I show you first? Uh, um, Mr. Logix? Ah, uh, <laughs> you can just call me Logi. I'm not used to being addressed so formally. Okay, Logi, is there anything you would like to see? Hmm, well, I saw a large ranch on my way here. I was curious what that was. Oh, that's our apple orchard. My parents' house is actually an orchard, too. Colsate has a lot of orchards. Our town specializes in producing apples, you know? And they're delicious. I see. Perhaps I should try one later. Hmm? If your parents run an orchard, why did you become a government worker? Would you inherit the farm? I thought about that too, but since I can use alchemy, I thought I should be putting my skills to use. And I want to use my alchemy to help as many people as I can. And my father actually agreed. I see. That's a nice story. Y yes <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervous right now. <laughs> sorry, uh, so am I. I'm just not used to situations like these. How about we keep on going? Show me the way, Eska. You got it. Let's head over to one of the apple orchards. They're right on the outskirts of town. Let's make a note of this. know this by now, but let me explain it to you one more time. This city is called Colsate, and it's built on top of ancient ruins. So the city acts as a hub for all kinds of research. Yeah, 
It used to be a small farming village, but once the government got involved, it grew and grew. Right. It's large for a city out on the frontier. The streets are bustling, too. We're in the town square right now. You can see all the billboards and shops. There's a lot of businesses around the airship port. That's why this is the center of town. I see. So it's not just the hub for research, but also a growing area for business. Honestly, I was expecting something a little more rustic, but I stand corrected. <laughs> so you were expecting us all to be in furs? Living in log cabins out in the sticks, kid? Sure, it's not huge compared to Central City, but wherever people and money go, you get a good crowd. Throw up a store here and you'll get all kinds of customers. And that's how cities grow, my friend. I see. Um... Oh, hello, Mr. Duke. Hey there, Eska. I just finished prepping for tonight. Are you out running errands? Yes, I'm going to my job now. Um, Waji, this is Mr. Duke, and he runs the store here. It's nice to meet you. I'm Lodgy. I've been assigned to the local branch's R&D department. Ah, I see, I see. Well, thanks for coming by. You're always welcome here. You still don't know much about this city, right? Well, now you know where to go when you get hungry. Technically, it's a bar. But I've been putting a lot of work into my menu, too. That would be a lot of help. I still don't know anywhere to eat. Well, now you do. Heck, you can even have dinner here tonight if you want. You're a man. Eat up. But if we ate at your bar every day, Duke, we'd be, uh, unable to move. <laughs> Well, I do cook for real manly men. Might be a bit much for a wisp of a girl like you. You can eat well despite the season's poor crops? That's good to hear. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to take up all your time. Sorry to stop you while you're on the job. Oh, don't worry about it. All right, Mr. Duke, if you'll excuse us. Yeah, good luck with your work. Take care of Lodgy, too. Thank you very much, Mr. Duke. What a hearty man. But he seems easy to talk to. Perhaps I should stop by his bar later on.
So these are the apple orchards? <laughs> Whoa! Isn't there anything like this where you're from? I'm not sure. At the very least, I've never seen it up close. This place somehow feels really fresh. Does it come from growing on top of the debris from the ruins? It must impart some vitality. My, oh my. You've returned already, Eska? Have you forgotten something? No, I haven't. I'm here on business, really. Oh, did they put you to work already? They're sure keeping you busy, aren't they? What a strange person. Is she a friend of yours, Eska? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. This is Clone. She manages the apple orchards, and she's, well, like a mother to me. Hello, my name is Clone. Like a mother? Clone, this is Laji. He's going to be working with me starting today. Um, hello. It's nice to meet you. I see. Well, I'm sure Eska will be a handful, so please look after her. You too. Um, what exactly do you do as the manager here? Right now, there are a few farmers who manage their own areas of the orchard. I oversee their operation. We harvest a great number of apples every year. Please feel free to stop by, and I will give you some. Wow, that would be amazing. I would love to try one if I get the chance. Oh, but did you say you were on duty? Is this in regards to the windmill? Oh, that's right. Um, someone's supposed to be here already, but... I think I know where to take you. Please, follow me. Is this person an automaton? What is she doing out on the frontier? Huh? Brother, what are you doing here? Hey, Eska. I was wondering where you were today. Ah, Clone A, you're here too. I just finished my checkup. Oh, over so soon. Thank you very much for your hard work. Well, it still works, but barely. There's only so much I can do here without getting some new parts. Hmm, that's not good. I will leave the matter to you. I get it now. So you are the one who got here before us, brother. So it would seem. And windmill repair isn't exactly my specialty. Hmm. Did I see you near the depot by any chance? Yes, thanks for remembering. I didn't know you were Eska's brother, though. <laughs> we're actually cousins, and we've got a few years between us. We're not siblings by blood. My name's Owen. I'm an engineer, and I maintain the airships around here. I'm Lodgy. I've recently been assigned to the Colsate branch. I look forward to working with you. 
<laughs> Same here. And, uh, you don't have to be that formal with me. I'm not that much older than you, you know? I... I see. Well, I guess... I'll work on that, Alwyn. Well, it's a pleasure for me, too. Don't be shy about asking questions around here, either. <laughs> Brother, you sure get to know people really fast, huh? <laughs> We're gonna be working together a lot. No need to be such strangers, right? I guess you have a point, but why do I feel like I'm lost here? So what are the two of you doing together? I've been assigned to the R&D division with Eska. She's been kind enough to show me around town. Oh, that's right. You started your new job today too, Eska. Sorry, I completely forgot about it. So the other new trainee I heard about is actually you, Eska? <laughs> it all makes sense now. Huh? New trainees? The R&D division's been understaffed, so Marion asked me to take care of her new recruits. So I guess that makes me something like your instructor now. Start looking forward to it. You're an airship engineer, but you repair windmills and teach as well? That's quite a handful. Well, engineering is just a part of what I do. In all honesty, I'm more of a jack-of-all-trades. So, what exactly should we be doing? You see that windmill? I think I've done about all I can with just normal repairs. That's why I want the two of you to help me make some new components to fix it. But that sounds really difficult. Are you sure we're qualified? <laughs> you can leave the actual technical work to the engineers. Your part won't be that hard. Marion should be able to give you more details about it. Well. Should we head back to the branch? I understand. I'll ask our boss. He seems a little laid back, but he's really easy to talk to. I should come to him for advice. Speaking of which, I need to go report to my own boss, too. Do you mind if I make a little detour? Actually, it's a good chance to show Lodgy around, too. He should get to know the place. You're right. If you're going to live in Colsape, then you have to see the depot. Um, I came on an airship, so I've already seen it. Well, <laughs> I guess I don't have a choice. I suppose the station is quite impressive. You don't see a lot of them this well-maintained. 
Right? We can even accommodate airships coming from Central City. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? This is our town's other pride and joy, aside from the apple orchards. Oh, when you're back! Oh, what the heck were you doing out there? I told you to report back to me! Sorry, I gotta go take care of this. Can you wait a second? I'll be right back, I swear. This thing really is well built. I can see how they'd be able to accommodate a large ship. The ports are separated into different levels, so there's little traffic too. Very efficient. Wow, you could tell all that just by looking at it, Lodgy? Amazing! You must know a lot about airships. No, not that much. Hey, Eska! What was that you were saying about airships? Oh, hi, Mr. Heisman. Lodgy was just saying how there are ports on different levels to avoid crowding. Good eye. Not too shabby for a youngin' like you. I respect that. The name's Heisman. I do most of the maintenance around here, and I'm Arwen's boss. Good to meet you. I'm glad to meet you, too. Um, do you mind if I ask, how can this town support such a large depot? I heard that shops and businesses attract a lot of people, but still, it seems very well maintained. Well, you see, that's because of the unexplored ruins. Ruins? Now that you mention it, there was a mention of ruins in the documents. What are they? They're ruins, floating in the sky not too far from here. People began to call them the unexplored ruins. This town was first built as a hub for sending researchers to the ruins as a supply depot. So... These floating ruins are confirmed to exist, but no one's been there? Why not use airships? That's the thing, we can't. The airstream there is so turbulent, it's impossible to approach them. Not only that, but there's rubble floating in the air. You get caught up in that, kiss your ship bye-bye. I see. So no one's actually gone into them. This is the first I've heard of ruins like that. Isn't it strange? Ever since I was a child, it's been one of my dreams to visit those ruins. Doesn't the fact that no one's ever explored them before just make you want to do it even more? <laughs> I suppose so, but if airships can't get you there, it would be quite difficult. Y yeah I, I guess you have a point. What are you talking about? Reaching the unexplored ruins is a dream everyone in Colsate shares. That's true. Now that you're a government official here, you better remember stuff like this. I... I see. All right, I'll try to remember. But the fact that we can't get there is what makes this story such a fairy tale. Now, you kids still have work to do, right? Well, get to it. Heisman was in a really good mood. He loves airships, so I think he was glad to meet someone who knew his language. You're smart, Lodgy. I really don't know anything.
you're just getting back? We explored a lot and talked to lots of people. I think I have a good idea of what's around the town now. Well, that's good to hear. By the way, what happened to the windmill? I think it's pretty close to breaking down completely. It's gonna need a lot of new parts. Despite that, I don't think it'll be hard. And since it involves the orchard, it's perfect for Eska. True. Well, then why don't we use this as a learning opportunity? That's right. I haven't shown you two to your atelier, have I? Since we have a few minutes, why don't you take a quick look? You'll be spending a lot of time there. I'm going to speak with Awen about the other outstanding tasks. You're right! I completely forgot about that! Yes, it would be a good idea to see the Atelier, since we will be doing all our work there. Ha! <laughs> well, this way! Bye. Here we are, and the key is... Hey, did R&D ever have an atelier before? This is the first time I've heard of you having one. Actually, we had to put it together in a spare room, but we need it since now we have two alchemists. Ah, there we go. Make sure you have everything you need in there. When you're done, come back and see me. Our atelier now? <laughs> so this is our workspace now? It's got a sofa, and a desk, and a cauldron for alchemy! A cauldron? What is something so dated doing here? <laughs> of course there's one! It's an atelier! Oh man, this is going to be a blast! I can't believe such old methods are still in use. I have no idea how to synthesize using a cauldron. Huh? Logi, you are an alchemist, aren't you? I am. But how should I explain this? In Central City, we don't do things with a cauldron anymore. Y you don't? I thought this was normal, but there's other ways to do it too? Normally, we have specific equipment for each process. Hmm, I wasn't expecting this. Then you mean that you can't perform your alchemy here? Not right away, at least. Hmm. This isn't good. I know next to nothing about cauldrons. Oh, no. I was going to learn a lot from you, too. I guess we don't have a choice. I'll be taking care of all the synthesizing, okay? Well, there are two of us here, after all. We should split the work. B but you have no idea how to do it, right? Isn't this our best option? Sorry, I'm going to have to learn how to use this tool though. Please teach me. In exchange, I'll support you in any way I can. The methods may change, but the materials don't. Oh, then can you teach me what you need to mix to make certain things? I only know very simple alchemy. Hmm, then why don't you handle the synthesizing in the beginning and I'll handle everything else? Got it. If we work together, I'm sure we can make all sorts of amazing stuff. There's no point in complaining about the facility. I need to figure out what it is I can do. Um, Lodgy, 
I'd like to formally say that, though I may be inexperienced, I'll do my best to work with you. Huh? What's this all of a sudden? Um, well, we are going to be working together and all, so I thought we should be friends. I see. No point in being weird about it, I suppose. I should have been more considerate myself. I may not know much about these methods, but I hope to do my best, too. I'm counting on you. Yes, leave it to me. Thanks. Now that we've seen our accommodations, how about we go back to Marion? We're finally going to use our atelier. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs>